What's up, Ornery Asses Booga here. This is my 2000 FLSTC Heritage Classic. Got some little Dougie joining my video. Hey, Dougie. 21 inch big spoke front wheels. It's got originally an 88 cubic inch, upgraded to a 95 with 203 cams. Vance and Hine big shot exhaust. Stock bag, stock rear tire. Mustang seat. Uh, color is Aztec orange. Y'all can see my license plate. I don't mind. <laughs> Come find me. We'll go ride. Got some 14-inch apes on it. Uh, just put on some Commander 3 front and rear tires. And let me tell you, those things are pretty sweet. Let me start it up for y'all. That's my ride. That's what's between my legs. Thanks, y'all. Stay ornery. Hello, I'm Richie Jones from Newport, Arkansas. This is my Harley Davidson. Matter of fact, it's the very first Harley Davidson I've ever owned. I had before this one, I had a Kawasaki Vaquero that I traded in at South Main Iron in Paris, Texas. Drove down there in January and got it. But I like this. This is a 2015 Ultra Limited. And uh, put the custom dynamic lights in the front in the blinkers like the crap out of them and i have the of course the epic hour sticker i have like three pair of those but i put the memphis shades on it i like that it's a lot better than the like the factory one i'm thinking about doing the karaoke and blades i think that's what they're called here that go around here i like it because it's got the blue oh my god i love the blue i mean it's dirty as crap right now but anyway i love the blue I like it because it's got the water-cooled heads. That's what kind of sold the, the color and the heads sold me on that because I just like the idea of water-cooled and it helped last longer. It has the Stage 1 air cleaner on it. it has the Vance and Himes X-Pipe. And then it has Reinhardt slip-ons. And, of course, I put the Willie G cover there on it. I got a buddy that's got a body shop. He put the Profit camera on it and match the helmet, my half helmet to it, which I like the crap out of it. I flip the mirrors. I got a Ciro 3D phone mount, karaoke cup holder. And that's all I've added to it. Well, hang on, hang on. Back here, I put the bag filler lights in and that. her ass, big, fat, and wide. I like that, but she's lit up at night. And of course I have the, uh, there it is the balls on the back of it. I rode for years with my Kawasaki on it and everybody got a laugh out of it. And hey, that's the way I look at life. If you can't laugh, fucking don't get out. Don't do nothing. Cause I mean, you gotta have fun in life. And then I put these stickers on it. You can't see it on this side. I'll show you on the other. That was a bitch. There was a bitch to get lined up. Oh yeah, and I put the Willie G Derby cover on it. I like the crap out of it. And I had South Main before I picked it up back in January. Put the mini apes on it. I really like that. And the mirrors are upside down. Of course, I think I've already said that, but anyway. My very first Harley Davidson. Go big or go home. <laughs> That's my theory. Had 16,000 miles on it. It's got around 21,000. Picked it up back in January. Done a little bit of riding. Not a lot, but a little about ready to do my first service on it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I almost forgot. I think you see this uh, the sticker. There you go, a sticker on top of both of the bags. Hat, believe it or not, picked them up on Facebook. They have cool stickers. I can't remember where I got them. But anyway, my very first Harley Davidson. 2015 Ultra Limited, Newport, Arkansas. I'm out, bye. Hi, this is Sherry Bohannon. And I'm doing my episode of What's Between Your Legs. She is, in all her majesty, 2019 Road Glide, otherwise known as Big Red. Let me show you some things I've done to Big Red since I bought her. First of all, we'll start at the rear. I personally think she has a mighty fine rear. Her rear is made up of color-matched Advan Black 
bags with the fender extension along with the RC Customs pipes along this side. We've done just a few things. And then on the front, we've done the color matched Advan Black lowers, as well as chroming the entire front end. Now I bought this bike, it was not a special, but I was able to score some special wheels, <laughs> get it special wheels, that had been on a bike for about like 20 miles. So got a good deal on those and got a good black and chrome contrast on the front end, which I think looks really good. Highway pegs for all that long distance riding that I hope to do very soon. And we got some more added chrome here with the Hill toe shifter and of course the derby cover. And couldn't go without chroming the entire handlebar area. I got the switch housing covers, the master cylinder cover, that whole deal. So there it is in all its majesty. Big red. Well, good morning, everybody. This is Donald, a.k.a. Al Buffalo. This is what's between my legs. Her name is Little Sexy. She's a 2014 Street Glide Special. There's lots of add-ons. See her 3D LED lights, front and back. A pangers. Just installed this ASR seat. So far, I'm liking it. Pillions ship separately. Thanks, COVID-19. Appreciate that. See her 3D lighting stage one vance and hines x pipe twin slash mufflers kept the uh, stock air cover but behind it lies a uh, high flow uh, system which makes it a uh, stage one we also got zero 3d lighting in the back the uh, strobes from custom dynamics keeps us safe while we're riding from all those idiots out there not paying attention look at that big ass holy shit love this bike she is truly a little sexy this is my wife's bike aka honey badger her bike's name is boo we purchased it on halloween it's got custom dynamics lighting front and back co 3ds custom cobra mufflers also the custom dynamics strobe adapter which works on any uh led lights also purchased the uh bright ass light this thing will give you a stroke. Don't know why they don't put strobes on bikes as stock. But uh, in my opinion, that was the best thing we ever did. Uh, really, truly keeps people off your ass. Hey, owner one, Steph. Um, I'm Dan Shea. I'm with Riding Hope. I just wanted to do a walk around. This is what you guys wanted. So this is the FXDR. When they came out in 2019, they only allowed one per dealership every three months. Um, they made it in 2019 and then again in 2020. And to my understanding, they're gonna discontinue um, doing it anymore. They're not gonna make it anymore, which is gonna make this a rare bike. Now I took off the fender, as you can see, and Steph, I know you get a kick out of this. Remember, I lost my license plate. I used the Cricut machine to fabricate a new one. So, but I took off. You can see the bolts down in there, and I got the lights going. I wired up lights, uh, brake lights under the bike so that when I stop, you know, the whole surrounding around me lights up. Um, this pin line is a factory pin line. I added this guy in. And it actually looks like it's a factory, like it was supposed to be like that. The titanium exhaust, I was getting it one day, and I blew the baffle out the back of this thing. You know, uh, uh, along with the, um, the microfiber end cap. So I said, you know what, let me just paint this, and I'm just going to leave it like that. It sounds like a monster. I love it. I got the Joker machine riding, or pegs here. 
Um, I do have a stage two torque cam put in this thing and it, it moves. Um, I got these nice little, I think they're um, custom dynamic lights. Let me see here. There you go, you can see them now. What I love about this, the headlight, is just that vertical headlight and it's so unique. I mean, it's unreal. And I love that. And you can see the brakes that I had wired up with hot glue. I think all these lights only cost me 40 bucks altogether. Now, I got to tell you, there's a rat's nest under here. But you guys were also talking about seats. This is the Bevel Solo seat. And this is the best seat I've ever had in my life. And I've had Mustang seats, Saddleman's. And this thing took me on this bike. It took me to Texas in... 26 hours I did 1200 miles on that seat and I did not have a problem not once so anyway I'm gonna start this guy up and we can see how this is <laughs> This is my bike guys and I hope you like it. I did get the uh, the black push pin rods so it kind of marries up but I hope you like this. I love you guys. Keep doing what you're doing. What's going on ornery asses? This is Mike Myers aka Myers Misfits. Thanks TJ and Steph for that nickname. And this is what's between my legs. 2020 Roguelite Limited in Zephyr Blue and Black Sun Glow. Give you a quick little walk around. Rocking Custom Dynamics front turn signals. Absolutely love those. High quality, as usual, when it comes to Custom Dynamics. I have a long ride shield in 11 inch, and for the price of this shield, I absolutely love it. I think I paid 65 bucks for it. Got a Harley windshield pouch. I'm not real happy with it. It's kind of crap quality, but it does the job. I'll deal with it for right now. KST 14 inch Renegade bars. Love these bars. Best bars I've ever run. I've got a Zero 3D phone mount, Zero 3D cup holder for myself and my wife. Underneath this beautiful plush sheepskin seat cover is a Mustang lowdown seat, which I absolutely love. One of the best seats I've run so far. And the best upgrade we've done, can't know, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's Legend Revo A13's best bang for the buck. That changed this bike completely. Now in the back, as far as lighting goes, all LED. We've got Harley's LED center brake light here and the Zero 3D filler panel lights. The only reason I went with the Zero 3D filler panel lights is because of the way they're finished down here versus being able to see the nuts and bolts that are behind it. And as far as sound goes, we've got Reinhardt four and a half inch slip-ons. I'll put a clip in right now showing what they sound like and what the lights look like with the Custom Dynamics Magic Strobe Kit. That's my bike. Thanks for watching. See what's between my legs. Hello, Warner Asses. Meloello, 70, Ontario, Canada. This is my 2018 Ultra Limited with a 107 in it. It's uh, flat gray, flat black. No motor work done to it. What I have done to it is uh, 10 inch apes. Replace the heated grips, levers, and mirrors all in the black have the uh, Zero 3D cup holder there. Uh, changed the heat shields all to black. I've upgraded the floorboards. The CVO floorboards. I have four slip-on pipes, local manufacturer. I've updated all LEDs to the back and added Zero, zero 3D signal lights in the, in the bag gaps. I've got just over 19,000 kilometers on it. Don't know how many miles that is. Um, what I'd like to do next is maybe do the Tour Pack Delete. 
get a uh, saddleman seat potentially for when the tour pack is off. Uh, and after that, my warranty runs out August 3rd of this year. After that, I'll maybe start looking at doing some things in the motor. I do have a quote right now for 128 upgrade, but I don't think I have the money in available for just for that just yet. But this is what's between my legs. Oh, I've uh, updated the visor as well. I've got a trifold bag there for wallet and cell phone. But this is my, uh, what's between my legs. I've been riding it since August 3rd of 98. Bought it brand new. And uh, yeah, so I'm loving it. Thanks for all your videos. I, I get uh, a lot of enjoyment out of, uh, out of your content.